my name is Winston McCall. I'm the vocalist for Parkway Drive. What am I doing with my voice? Ah, it's all Cookie Monster expressions. <laughs> We're not using this track though. We're not using our live track, are we? we One of the reasons I got into like punk and hardcore in the first place was because the bands I was listening to weren't great at their musical instruments. It was something where I'm like, he's pretty crap at guitar and that dude can't sing, but it, it's real, it's raw. It connects with me, like it was the emotional connection. And for me, like, I still can't play a single instrument. Can't read music, no idea, but I could yell. Let me the fuck! Metal has just been an adventure of me for 10 years not knowing how to sing in general. So when you don't know how to sing, you're really trying to emote in whatever way you have. Help me take this pain away. Sleep is now my enemy. What I found out later on when people started actually uh, studying what it is, like there's different sets of vocal cords. There's your true vocal cords and then there's the false vocal cords. You don't generally use your, first, your, your false vocal cords when you're singing, but using them is, what is what allows you to hit this screaming tone this wildly abrasive tone that you can get in, in your voice without it being the actual scream. Like if I was to be chased by a tiger, the ah scream that I'd let out is completely different from the technique that you use to project your voice in the way that you hear within heavy metal. When you warm up for it, it's making dinosaur noises, which is hilarious. literally like when you think about like a pterodactyl going Ow! it's it's all a manipulation of the jaw the cavity within the mouth where the vocal vocal box is dropping to how much space is in there to augment the sound and then the power that you'll be able to generate to push it through the chords and the strength that you have in those vocal chords to be able to not have it just go Aah! and just stop <laughs> 